Hello, everyone. Welcome to this webinar on identifying the stars and duds of your workforce with performance management. Please note that you will be in a listen-only mode. If you have any questions, you can use the questions or the chat window to post your questions, and Annie, our product expert, expert will be there to answer your questions. I am super thrilled to host this webinar today, and let me tell you why. Let us take a moment to imagine the scene at office. It is that time of the year when everyone seems a little too serious and nervous. We can see people going into conference rooms and coming out of them, meeting their manager, and coming out with a myriad of expressions. Conversations in hushed tones prevail, and many seem disappointed, while a few seem elated. Does this picture sound too familiar? Yes, this is sadly the common picture around the time of performance appraisals in many organizations even today. So here's what we're going to do in this webinar. We will break some common myths around the concept of performance management, explore the real concepts behind them, and also see how Zoho people can help you as a comprehensive performance management system to identify the stars and duds of your organization. Before we delve into the concept, let us look at these statistics. These eye-opening statistics come from research done by Gartner. The first one states that a staggering 90% of HR professionals don't believe their company's performance reviews provide accurate information. This means that many HR professionals are facilitating appraisal processes that they don't believe in. That is shocking, right? The next one gives us a manager's perspective. A shocking 95% of managers aren't satisfied with their organization's performance management processes. So imagine the mindset with which these managers could be conducting their appraisals and the plight of their employees. So when we look at such alarming statistics, it makes us wonder, what is missing? What is it that we aren't doing right, isn't it? Well, this is going to give you that clear contrast between performance appraisal, the reality in many organizations, and performance management, which is the ideal situation needed in all organizations. Let us look at some of the glaring differences between these two concepts. Firstly, performance appraisals work predominantly in a yearly ones pattern. But what we actually need is a continuous process in place. The next aspect is that ratings are the main focus in an appraisal. However, in a performance management system, ratings are only a part of the process. The next aspect is that performance appraisals are solely linked to pay. In the case of performance management, however, it is only indirectly linked to pay. Employee development and a lot of other factors are taken into account. The next critical aspect is that performance appraisals are a top-down approach where managers give a critical monologue to their subordinates. A good performance management system, on the other hand, promotes a joint dialogue aimed at overall employee development and aligning of mutual objectives that aid in organizational growth. Now we have established that a performance management system is the healthy alternative, not just for the employees, but for the entire organization as well. Having said that, we'll now see what are the key components of a comprehensive performance management system. Did you know that 22% of employees would rather call in sick than face a performance review? This brings me to the first point that I'd like to talk about, and that is a comprehensive performance management system should facilitate a continuous process. 
only that way it will reduce the fear and anxiety that employees face. Next, it should be a system that has no channels for continuous feedback so that employees receive them instantly rather than only during the appraisal time. Both positive and constructive criticism is best remembered when given at the appropriate time. The system should also facilitate recording of important information that can be referred to at any point of time. Managers may change over time or may forget critical inputs along the way. A place to safe keep such information would surely be beneficial. The next important aspect is that a system, the system should help managers focus on overall development. It should not be just about ratings or pay. And finally, it must be an automated process and thereby an error-free process so that HR, managers and employees can focus on other important matters at work. Research by the Brandon Hall Group says that companies that invest in ongoing performance management systems saw a 70% increase in their revenue. And what's more, they also saw a 72% improved retention rate amongst their employees. So this is precisely why a comprehensive performance management system is the need of the hour. We will now move on to focus on how Zoho people can be a perfect solution for a comprehensive performance management system. During the next few slides, you will be able to see how Zoho People provides appropriate solutions for all the issues and concerns we discuss now. Zoho People offers you an array of modules to choose from. You can enable or disable the modules that you would like to have as part of your system. We will spend some time exploring the various aspects of these modules. Remember that you can use all these modules for your employees that will aid in a smooth performance management process. In the next few slides, we will explore the key concepts and examples from the point of view of this employee. This is Rebecca Biagio. She is an HR manager in charge of recruitment. She will appear as a recurring example as we move forward. Right, so the first module that we we'll take up is goals. Why are goals essential? When an employee joins an organization, the goals of the company give them an idea of where the organization is headed. Similarly, the goals for an employee give them direction. An ideal goal should be smart, specific, and not abstract, and it must be measurable in the sense that there must be a clear metric to measure and evaluate. The goal must be achievable and must not feel like a Herculean task. A goal must be realistic in being able to accomplish and must also be time-based. A clear deadline for completion should be communicated. Let, it, let us look at an example here. Increase campus recruitment drives by 10% in quarter one of 2019 is a smart goal for Rebecca. As you can see, all the elements of a smart goal have been satisfied here. You can create similar smart goals for any employee to match their department or the designation. You can also give a corresponding weightage for each goal. The next important module we look at is KRAs. KRAs are key result areas and simply defined, they are, they are activities which you must perform in the job. KRAs will also vary according to the designation or the department of the employee. Taking Rebecca's example again, here are some of her KRAs campus recruitment, candidate interviewing, candidate screening and selection, and so on. As in the case of goals, you can also give a weightage for each of your KRAs. 
In Zoho People, you also have the option of mapping the goals to the KRAs using the KRA versus goals module that we saw earlier. You can map your goal to the specific KRA in this way. According to research by Gartner, 66% of HR leaders have building critical skills and competencies for the organization as the number one HR initiative for 2019. Going by that important statistic, let's look at our next module, skill sets. So what are skill sets? They are basically a set of skills that you must possess in order to perform the job. Without certain skill sets, you will not be able to perform the job. To get a better understanding, let us look at some of Rebecca's skill sets. Current technology, fluency in English, knowledge of regional languages. These are some of Rebecca's skill sets as a recruitment manager. You can give a weightage for each skill set and you can also give a score for each of them. And what you see over here is an overall potential score that gets calculated from individual scores. Do keep this in mind. We will see how this score is used in Zoho people at a later point in the webinar. So moving on to the next important module, competencies. Now, how do we define a competency? We often wonder if it is the same as a skill set. Let us see how it's not. A competency is actually a combination of skill sets, knowledge, and personal attributes that make you excel in your job. As we looked at earlier, skill set is needed to basically even perform the job, whereas competencies help to excel in your job. Let us look at some of Rebecca's competencies. Decision making active listening, strategic thinking. Now these can be the competencies that make Rebecca as a recruitment manager excel in her job. And her manager can evaluate her on these same competencies. So far we've looked at how managers can use various performance modules in Zoho People to evaluate their employees' performance. But it doesn't stop there. What about inputs from people who work closely with the employee but are part of another team? What about feedback from counterparts? And how does an employee get a chance to share their feedback about their managers? Let us look at how Zoho People gives channels for all of these valuable inputs. Did you know that 80% of employees prefer immediate feedback this brings me to our next key module that facilitates continuous feedback, and that is the feedback module. In Zoho People, we have three such options to choose from. The reporting to feedback, which is a traditional method of getting feedback from your reporting manager. If you want to receive feedback from the counterparts in your team, you can enable peer-to-peer -peer feedback. This feedback is an extremely useful way of gathering unbiased feedback from your team. The next crucial type of feedback is the 360 degree feedback. In this way, employees also have a voice in giving feedback about their managers. Taking Rebecca's example again, we can see that her manager has given her some positive feedback here. And what you see here is a way in which you can give anonymous feedback to an employee simply by ticking this box. Another new addition, another new addition in Zoho People is the employee review feedback. Employees now have an option to share their feedback of an appraisal cycle that has concluded. What's more, in case they are not satisfied with the appraisal rating, there is also an option that admins can enable to extend the review period so that the manager can reevaluate their decision. Another important aspect of a comprehensive performance management system, as I mentioned earlier, 
was recording important information. The summary module is an ideal module for that. This module is especially handy when managers change over time. Taking Rebecca's example, you can see that there are a set of questions that can be chosen and the manager can give inputs for each. From this summary, we can see that Rebecca is a great team player and the area that she needs improvement is to be more update with, up to date with current technology. Now, all of this information becomes invaluable when a new manager comes in and needs to evaluate the employee. In addition to feedback from others, self-analysis and reflection is instrumental in employee performance. Better performance stems from one's critical feedback. The self-appraisal module in Zoho People is available to capture the employee's inputs on how they feel that they have performed on various aspects, and they can also give self-ratings to each of those. As you can see, Rebecca has given inputs on various questions on what her biggest achievement was this year, what she enjoyed most about her job, and she has also given self-ratings. Many of us not only work within our teams, but often closely interact with other teams and in order to gauge performance, feedback from those teams is extremely important. So how do we gather their feedback? This can be done by enabling the multi-rater feedback. Either the manager or the employees can choose their multi-raters and gather feedback from them. Here what we see is feedback from Mark, who takes care of onboarding, with whom Rebecca works closely. So his feedback is extremely useful in evaluating her overall performance. So this is a snapshot of all the modules that Soho People's performance management system has. From goals to KRAs, self-appraisals, multi-rater feedback, and more. Let us now see how to configure an appraisal cycle where you can incorporate the modules that you would like to have as part of the process. This is the section that you will see when you click to add a new appraisal. Here you can give the name for the appraisal. You can configure the timelines for the appraisal period, the self-appraisal period, multi-rater period, and so on. Here you can have more options for the multi-rater feedback configured. And this is where you choose the module that you would like to include as part of your cycle. What you now see here is the implementation of the review process. As you can see, the combined inputs of all the core modules, along with the self-appraisal and the multivator feedback, will provide inputs for the final manager review and at the end of it, we can gather many valuable reports based on the information we have. Zoho People's Performance Module has many valuable reports through which we can understand both individual performance as well as group performance. Let us now look at some of those important reports. The first one we see here is the appraisal report. This is a comprehensive report that shows you the overall rating distribution of your subordinates. You can filter based on department, manager, rating, and even view specific data of previous appraisals. This next report is the employee appraisal report, which is also a crucial one as it gives a bird's eye view of, a, of specific employees rating across appraisals. This can give insights into any specific trends of the employee. We also have other reports that give you accurate information on skill sets, self-appraisal status, multi-rated status, and more. This report is the highlight of our webinar, the performance versus potential report that is going to identify the stars and duds of your organization. This report is a combination of the employee's potential score derived from the skill set module that we saw earlier and the performance review rating. This combination places each employee into one of these boxes 
in the nine box matrix. Each box represents a specific mix of performance and potential. Let us look at some examples now. Let's take these 25 employees. Now they are categorized as rough diamonds. They are employees with low performance and high potential. So these employees would be the ones you would probably have more coaching and training opportunities in order to tap their potential and make them perform better. Now let's look at the consistent stars. Now these employees have outstanding performance and high potential. So these are the employees you are likely to promote. When you click on each box, the list of employees belonging to that category will be shown. This report gives you a clear picture of where each employee stands currently and what opportunities that you can give them for them to grow. As we come to the end of this webinar, let me leave you with this quote. To be effective and yield results for your business, performance management needs to be a continuous process with no end. If you like this webinar or the feature in Zoho People, please let us know on Twitter. We would be happy to receive your feedback. You can also tap our knowledge base for interesting information related to our product. Now we will move on to the question answer session. Please post your questions in the chat or questions window. Annie, our product expert, and I, we will both be there to answer your questions. Thank you.